Buenas tardes. La hora después de comer siempre es complicada, pero os hemos preparado un vídeo para reactivaros. Hemos estado todo el día hablando del futuro, pero sin tener en cuenta a aquellos que van a vivir en el futuro, los más pequeños. Hace unos años eh, tuve la oportunidad de visitar un colegio en Nueva York que la verdad que me rompió los esquemas y, y Steven es el fundador de este colegio que se llama Green Bronx Machine que está en una de las zonas más, eh, más difíciles de Nueva York en las que eh, es muy difícil acceder a alimentos frescos. Es, es una zona que se llama un desierto de alimentos, un food desert, que quiere decir que no puedes comprar no tienes posibilidad de comprar alimentos frescos. Bueno, pues eh, Steven os va a contar su proyecto de por qué la educación en alimentación es importantísima si realmente queremos tener un futuro bueno para todos nosotros. Hey, everybody. All right, let's sing for our visitors. Let's sing. Stephen Ritz, and today's lesson is, in communities that have the highest health care costs in the United States, why don't we design places that provide healthy food? If water is life, why don't we build our waterfronts to foster thriving ecosystems? And if children will never be well-read until they're well-fed, why don't we grow food in every schoolyard? If our goal is to create equitable communities with access to healthy food, Why doesn't every public housing complex have a green roof and a garden? And if children are the future, why aren't we teaching them to save the world instead of studying for tests? And if good schools equal high property values, when we design cities, why don't we start with schools? So welcome to the Bronx, the poorest congressional district in America. 45 buildings that look like this. No supermarkets, no access to fresh food. This is home. Imagine living here during COVID. The Bronx is the first in everything bad and last in everything good. And each and every day our children show up to school. They can't wait to be here. And death, disease and disease waits for them on all four corners. This is not food. This is not what children should be eating. So I'm a bad man. And that's right. Me and my cheese hat. I have a superpower, and I grow food in school with children. I'm coming to you live from my classroom, where this is what we do each and every day. It is the art of growing food aligned to school. At the heart of our work is a curriculum right here. It's available in multiple languages. It is the art and science of growing vegetables aligned to every single subject area in school. It's got a website, and along the way, we've moved attendance from 40% to 93%. We've had 100% graduation rates, a 45% increase in state tests. Our children have made the cover of Time Magazine, and our school is now proficient and well-developed. But most importantly, with adorable little children and our community, we have gone from this to this, from this to this, from this to this, and from this to this. Imagine growing something greater, one schoolyard at a time, one school at a time. We are putting the culture back into agriculture, and it's my kids growing amazing food so everyone eats healthy, so good food is hood food, and everyone can participate. And through the power of the internet, my own story is from impossible to I'm possible. Once 330 pounds, I decided to only eat the food that I grew right here with kids in school and became a champion of change at the White House, bringing my children to the White House. We got to meet the president, even Miss Obama. How cool was that? 
We are the first program to generate a wheelchair farm for children, a commercial training kitchen. We take over abandoned buildings and teach children how to grow food, making living wage, designing super nutrient dense food in ways you can't imagine. In the middle of Appalachia, in the middle of the mountains, we created the first foster care farm for residentially placed foster care youth. And we're able to take a farm and grow something amazing. Hi, and it up. Steve Ridge here in and the the amazing thing is afterwards, we were able to build these young men homes to live in. So when they aged out of foster care, they had a place to live. That supermarket, that food is now sold in 11 supermarkets across the country. And 2,200 jobs later, my students are believers, achievers, and believers. And we have gone from disruption to delivery with 100% teacher satisfaction. So if you can dream it, you can do it. And I got invited to speak to the United Nations and it took off around the world, literally, you name it. I got invited back and wouldn't you know, just two years ago, we put over 1,000 gardens in schools all across Italy from Hope to the Pope, Mamma Mia. We won an Emmy Award. We're the top 10 health and wellness program in the nation, the top 100 educational program in the world. We have won more awards because it is about purpose. And I'm so proud that my mission is to get children all around the world to grow food in school. Now, every day I meet children who don't like eating vegetables, but I've never met a child who's allergic to money. And growing food is a license to print money. And this is not Photoshop. This is how we grow food in school in the Bronx using 95% less water each and every day. The only thing more beautiful than the plants are the children growing it. But literally, my students and I have created a whole new recipe for success. We are net positive on food and energy. We've attracted the likes of President Clinton. I got to meet him and I like to say we're ordinary people living extraordinary lives because it's our collective job to steward and shelter and guide our children to a better, brighter future. And this is the look that they have each and every day in my classroom, right here in the middle of public housing. We've got a kitchen, we've got a farm, we've got a fish tank, we've got a classroom. All sorts of amazing things to inspire children to learn and grow something greater. And that's exactly what we do. And then I bumped into this amazing company called Google. And with Google, we started teaching children right here in this very classroom how to make cooking shows, how to grow food, how to share it, how to get out on the internet. And it became so popular, we launched our own cooking show with Google. Mamma mia, imagine. So this program has become an exemplar of what we should be doing with children in schools. And for me, I want children who grow their own food to be their own hero. These are the celebrities I want. And let me be clear, when kids grow food, they do not waste it. Good habits start young. So I fight. I fight for children who are born in places most people would not want to be caught dead in. I fight for children who don't get dinner and don't know what dessert is. I fight for children who don't have bedrooms to call their own and whose monsters are real. And each and every day, I get to grow something greater. I get to plant a rainbow with children and make epic happen. And these are the beautiful results that you can get. Prioritizing food education in our public schools is a mandate. And one year ago, I was proud to stand with our mayor, the ultimate sustainable gangster. My kids cooked them a lunch that they grew right here at school. And these children got invited to City Hall. They were named food ambassadors. And four weeks later, they built a farm at Yankee Stadium. We've even brought folks from the UAE to meet our kids and understand our program. So the most important seed I will ever plant is one inside these children's head. And for me, it's just easier to raise healthy children than fix broken men and purposes at the heart of what I do. One community at a time, one garden at a time. And together, we can do this. I like to say my carrots and peas are spreading hummus and goodness all throughout the hood.
Now, I made the cover of Sports Illustrated because eating healthy and good self-care is something we can all participate in. I want to close with a story about my friend Kevin. He's an amazing young man in a wheelchair. He sent me a note. He wanted to be an entrepreneur. He converted a classroom into growing food, literally created a business, researched food. Every day, Kevin has a menu. You can select and order a smoothie. He will deliver it. He has recipes from all over the world with color-coded plates. And Kevin has started a business that is inspiring healthy living and learning throughout New York City. So much so, he was even celebrated by our mayor. So I want you to join me because children will never be well-read if they are not well-fed. And it's our job to make sure every child has a perfect seat at the table in a world where big fish eat the little fish. I want the little fish to outswim the big fish because I believe there is good in the world. So I have a tough job, ladies and gentlemen. I teach fifth graders to love their salad and I am a hope dealer. And I'm here to remind you that nothing tastes as good as eating healthy feels. So purposes are inner light and each and every one of us have the power to turn it on. And this is why we do it for our children, our grandchildren, our nieces and our nephews, for the next generation that can save the world. It is said that intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. And that is the power of purpose because we are stronger together to build value for all. I have taken this message with my children around the world to businesses, innovation centers and hubs. And people understand that the best investment we can make is in our children. So I come from a place where we have everything to gain and nothing to lose. And the value that we create is not the food that we grow, but the opportunities for children that we create. So I'm urging you, don't waste me. Don't waste them. Don't waste us. This is what partners have to say about our organization. We were just named Fast Company's Most Innovative Award. And I'm telling you that you belong here with me, with us. So today, I humbly ask you for a hand up, not a handout, because we are ready to scale. I ask you for a handshake to walk with me, work with me. We need partner support and capacity. And I want you to grow something greater with me and children all around the world. I'm so proud of our brand new documentary called Generation Growth. Please, let's take a quick look. You can see the trailer right here. We're seeing all kinds of health anomalies in communities of poverty. You got the bodegas with five different types of pork rinds, but no fresh fruit. There's a strong linkage between having poor diet, having poor health outcomes, and then it's just affecting your quality of life across so many different dimensions. Zip code and skin color should not determine outcomes in life. I'm out to change that. Who's the white guy with the cheese hat that's walking around the neighborhood? I had this vision. I could put this magical garden in the middle of a classroom and build school around it. Yeah! Stephen Ritz and his Green Bronx machine are opening young minds to science, nutrition, and wellness. When you cultivate a palate, you are changing the trajectory of those children's lives. So sometimes you gotta pull a little magic out of the hat. Oh, 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 oh. You can hug it, but not too tight. My favorite subject is science. This is how change happens, one community at a time. You can't rush growth. You can't go from seed to harvest without care and cultivation in the middle. So, ladies and gentlemen, I urge you to see the film. Beatrice can tell you how you can reach out to us. There is the website. So please sign up for, sign up for a showing each and every day. I tell my children to imagine believe and act. That's how we make a difference, by doing something we can all do today. So my question is, what will you do to make epic happen? Decide, commit, and succeed, and get out there and make epic happen. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stephen Ritz. I want you to join me. I've got passion for my plants, and I'm not afraid to show it. We want to take Green Bronx Machine and grow it, grow it, grow it. Purpose is what this is all about. You can learn more about the organization here. You can contact me here. And as I like to say, nos vemos pronto. Mucho gracias. And see you in the Bronx. Si se puede.
Bueno, hay poco más que añadir después de la, la energía y la charla de Steven. A mí me ha inspirado en estos 10 años para hacer lo que hago, así que una pena que no haya estado físicamente hoy con, con nosotros, pero ojalá podamos traer Green Bronx a España. Hoy hemos estado eh, haciendo también eh, esta misión de, de educar, concienciar a futuras generaciones. Hemos estado con nuestro Gastro Genius, que es el programa de Kilómetro Cero para involucrar a futuras generaciones en este cambio tan necesario. Nuestra compañera Claudia, Claudia, levanta la mano, saluda. <ríe> Claudia está liderando esta iniciativa y creemos que es importantísimo pues, involucrar a quienes vivirán en este futuro.